Rose Show, D93, and uh, could not be more excited because March 1st on Disney Plus, it is back. Uh, one of the best shows that you will find anywhere on television, uh, The Mandalorian, season three of The Mandalorian. And with us at this time, Bo-Katan from The Mandalorian season three, who I believe's role is about to explode through the moon, Katie Sackhoff. Katie, good morning. How are you doing? I'm so good. How are you? I'm great. How excited are you for this new season of The Mandalorian on uh, Disney Plus? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Even if I wasn't in the show, I'd be excited. So <laughs> I am just counting down the days. Uh, we're going to see a lot more of Bo-Katan. I have a feeling this season because I feel like all of the ancient history of The Mandalorian and all of the different worlds and universes are about to start colliding and intertwining as as uh, as as everybody finds their identities in this show, uh, am I right in feeling this way? It does feel that way, doesn't it? For sure. Um, I think that from the the teaser trailers in the trailer, we do we do see a lot more jetpacks this season. So, yeah. um, if you're a fan of the Mandalorians, um, if you you know loved even just the Mandalorian and haven't seen Clone Wars and Rebels. You're gonna get uh, you're gonna get a good season, and and you're gonna be really impressed and happy. I think you've been yeah you've been around this universe of Bo-Katan for a while, and how I mean first of all how cool is it that you get to be the live action version of this character, not only the animated version, <laughs> but also like to to kind of you've you've to see the story of the Mandalorian explode into something that is pound for pound right there with any Skywalker story or or yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, you know, it just doesn't happen to be able to go from a voice character to uh, the live action. Um, I think it helps that I played characters like this my entire mm -hmm. career in the sense that I played complicated, strong women. And, and so it wasn't a massive stretch, but, but to, be have, to have been asked to be a part of this world, is still, I'm still pinching myself. It's pretty yeah. crazy. Um, you know, and as a kid, I love Boba Fett. I, I was so intrigued by this, like, you know, it, it, this mysterious character and um, the fact that, that it's gone on and, and we know more about the Mandalorians is just so much fun. And, and I, what I love about this show is that everyone can watch it. People who love the, uh, you know, the original movies, people who have seen Clone Wars, people who haven't, little kids, adults. It's just, it's such a great show and I'm so, so happy to be a part of it. Uh, Mandalorian is back, season three, coming up here in just a few days, about a little over a week and a half away, March 1st on Disney+. Plus. You can get caught up right now, all episodes streaming. Of course, The Clone Wars in there as well, Boba Fett, the whole nine yards. Um, how physically demanding is this role compared to other roles you've done? Because not only is there, there there's lots of jetpacks and there's lots of uh, special effects and flying around, but also the the Mandalorian armor as well that you guys have to wear what is that like what's it like acting in that and one thing we i've seen we've seen with the mandalorian even though you don't see facial expression a lot you can tell you can almost see what the expression is under the helmet you can it's and there is a, a big effort to make sure that that reads for sure um the suits are you know I, I I think it might actually be the most painful thing I've put in there. I was trying to think that there may be a character that wore stiletto heels that might have competed <laughs> with this. But um, but this is different in so many ways. It doesn't start out heavy, but sitting in the suit for, you know, 14 hours, 15 hours a day for, you know, six, seven months straight right. is a lot of, it's just, it's just confining. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, this is such a great show. Like you mentioned, we, ha we wear our helmets. What that does is it allows us to put the best person in the suit for the skill that's being portrayed on set. So if there's a, if there's a scene where someone's sword fighting or gun fighting or, you know, all of these things that we've seen flying around, like fighting big monsters, you you put the stunt double with that expertise in the suit um, or train myself to do it. But we, it is a, a group effort and there, there's, um, you know, five ladies that all donned that suit this season to bring you the most believable and extremely awesome Bo-Katan that you're going to see. It's, uh, it's back March 1st on Disney plus new season of the Mandalorian. Uh, Katie, uh, Zakoff with us, of course, Bo-Katan from the show. We appreciate you taking some time. Also, too, uh, like I said, I always like to mention this. Swimming was your first was your first athletic uh, event, I guess, as as a child. You wanted to be an Olympian, right? Was that the first 
the first uh, one of the first things as a kiddo you wanted to do? It was, yeah. You know, it was just one of those things that I was I was good at, and I thought that that's what I should do. So I thought that that's what I was going to do. I was going to swim in college. Like, of course, I had Olympic aspirations. I don't know if I, you know, that probably was a stretch. But but swimming in college was was I had my eye on Stanford. That's yeah. probably something that was a bit more realistic. Um, and um, I thought that that was going to be just the the start of some career. And, and then I got injured and didn't know what to do with myself. And my mom saw an ad to be Kirsten Dunst's body double in a Lifetime movie that was shooting in my hometown. <laughs> and I went down to to be a part of that. And I, mm. I was too big for the role, but they <laughs> asked me to audition for a part. And that started it. It's wild stuff. Uh, as a as a as a dad of a swimmer, I always have to like mention anytime I see somebody who's you know who has swimming roots, you know, I always have to bring that up. So yeah, as, as a as a little yeah, as well, a, you can, as I a, think you can see the swimmer shoulders still in my body. I, I don't think those go away. <laughs> it's perfect for the Mandalorian roles, right? Perfect for Bo Katan, the swimmer shoulders. Uh, uh, yeah. Breaststroke. Uh, what, what stroke? What was your stroke? I was, yeah, I was a breaststroke. What it, what is your child yeah breaststroker yeah just got her she's nine and she just got her yeah. first state cuts here uh as a nine-year-old Yay! and so yeah she's oh, pretty I stoked about that. that in the in the 50 and oh, 100 breaststroke so, cool. so anyway i see oh. not a lot of folks relate but if you're a swimmer you get it like no, i think swimmers get it I they love get it that. yeah so I'll, i love that that's so cool yeah no it's funny it's people who you know kids that or people that swim breaststroke don't seem to be able to do any of the other ones and then <laughs> yes. that is so there's true. a time in to breaststroke there is a very very distinct timing to it and it's it separates the people who are winning from the people who are in second and third so it's it's a it's a fun it's a fun stroke. I love it a lot. I still yeah, love it. The, the, the pull out, yeah. You see her butterfly. It's nothing. Yeah, I was gonna say you can tell. There's def, she's definitely a but, breaststroker when you see her butterfly. So, <laughs> I know. I know uh, that's what everyone used to say. She's definitely a breaststroker. <laughs> Katie, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a real honor. Thank you so much. Good luck this season, Mandalorian season three on uh, Disney Plus March first. Always good chatting with you, and always good talking a little bit of swim with you as well. Uh, we wish yeah, you nothing but success, and uh, you're 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 a first class all the way. We appreciate the time. Oh, thank you so much. I tell your daughter I said good luck.